everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom j and i'm your teacher for today happy learning ang lesson natin sa araw na ito ay power of a quotient so karugtong lang po ito nung una kong in-upload na loss of exponent hindi kasi siya napasama kaya Uh, ginawan ko na lang siya ng another video. So, pag sinabi natin power of a quotient, for real numbers A and B, B is not equals to zero, and any positive integer M. Where E, magiging ganito yung tsura niya. So, quantity A over V, A over B raised to M. Ayan which is equal to a raised to m over b raised to m. Ayan. So, use when we want to simplify a fraction that is raised to a power. So, similar lang po siya ng power of a product. Kaya lang, dito kasi, magdi-divide tayo ng dalawang expressions na mayroong iisang exponent. Pero magkaiba ng basis. Ayan. So, yan po siya. So, i-distribute lang natin yung ating exponent sa ating base, sa numerator at sa ating base, sa ating denominator. Ayan. So, examples tayo. So, let's have number 1. So, quantity x over 6 raised to 2. Ayan. So, i-distribute lang natin yung exponent natin sa ating numerator at sa ating denominator. So, magiging exponent siya ng numerator at denominator. So, magiging x raised to 2 over 6 raised to 2. And then, simplify na natin siya. So, sa x squared, hindi naman natin masisimplify yan. Then, sa si 6 raised to 2, ay may katumbas na 36. Kasi 6 times 6 ay 36. So, ang sagot po natin ay x squared over 36. Okay, try natin na ulit. Isa pa. Sa so, number 2, we have 3 over 5. So, quantity 3 over 5 raised to 2. Ayan. So, ganun pa rin. So, ang ating exponent ay 2. So, i-distribute natin siya sa ating numerator at denominator. So, magiging 3 raised to 2 over 5 raised to 2. And then, pwede na natin siya i-simplify. So, 3 times 3 is 9. So, 3 squared is equals to 9. And 5 squared is equals to 25. So, 5 times 5 is equals to 25. So, number 3. Quantity 5D raised to 4 over 8C raised to 5 raised to 3. So, medyo mahaba itong ating given sa number 3. So, i-distribute natin isa-isa yung ating exponent sa ating numerator. Sa mga terms dito sa ating numerator. So, pinagsama na itong Uh, power of a quotient tsaka power of power. Ayan. So, pi raised to 3. Then, d. So, 4 times 3 is 12. Over. So, 8 raised to 3. And then, c raised to 5. So, 5 times 3. So, ita times lang po yung exponent na kapag ka variable. So, 5 times 3 is 15. So, power of power. Then, simplify na natin. So, 5 raised to 3 is equals to 125. This to be to 12. Over 8 raised to 3 is equals to 512. Then, C raised to 15. Ayan. So, ayan po yung sagot sa number 3. So, ganun lang po kadali yung loss of exponent na power of a quotient. So, kapag ka meron tayong fraction na naka-raise sa exponent, so, i-distribute lang natin siya sa numerator at sa denominator. 
So, sana naiintindihan nyo yung lesson natin about power of a quotient. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!